Welcome to the amazing Vue.js. In this video, I want to have a look at how we can use events in our Vue.js application. I prepared this application. You might recognize it from one of my other videos. And here, all I do is I output this title data property here. Now, I want to change this. I want to actually enable the user to do something in our application to dynamically update the title, hence updating this DOM or the page we see here, because Vue.js, of course, is also very capable of listening to user events. So let's work on that. So we get the title here. Now, let's say we want to change this title whenever I click a button. So let's add a button first. This button here, well, let's give it a text of change title. And then we want to change the title to a fixed new value. Now, of course, you could also add an input field and listen to, let's say, the key down, key up or input event. The approach will be the same, but let's first start at how can we listen to an event. This is a button and with traditional JavaScript, we could add the on click listener or something like that. But with Vue.js, it works a bit different. Instead of listening to on click or something like that, we need a directive. A directive is an instruction we place in our template and the part of the DOM we control through our instance here. And Vue.js will recognize this instruction, this directive, and know what to do with it. Now, the directive we need here is a built-in one, one with which Vue.js ships, which is called V on. The V dash at the beginning basically tells Vue.js, oh, I should take care about this. It doesn't seem to be a normal HTML attribute. And on then is the name of the directive. Now, on is a built-in directive, which basically is used for listening to events. To this directive, we need to pass an argument, which we do by adding a colon. And this argument now is the name of the event to which you want to listen. Now, the name or the event to which I want to listen is called click because I want to react to whenever I click this button. Therefore, here we now add an equal sign and then two quotation marks to now specify which code to execute whenever this event to which we're listening here occurs. Now we can execute some code in there like let's say title equals and then with single quotation marks new title to change it. If we now hit control enter, we see this button. And if I hit this button, we see that title was updated to new title. This is the reactivity Vue.js is great at. We change title in one place of our application and that of course changed it in this data object. And that led Vue.js to automatically update it in our displayed page, so in our DOM, because we're outputting it here via string interpolation. This is how we can listen to events and this is how Vue.js then well knows what to update in the DOM. Now, an alternative to setting the title here between the quotation marks would be to execute a method. So let's execute the change title method. And in order to have this method, we need to add a new property to the view instance. This is the methods object. So where data is also reserved word, so is methods. And method simply stores all the methods this Vue.js instance knows. So all the methods you want to trigger from within our template up here, they have to be stored in this methods object. Therefore here, what we want to do is set up the change title method in here. And now you may use ES6 syntax. So you can write this method like this. And as a side note, if ES6 or JavaScript is something you don't feel 100% comfortable, well, you might want to dive a little bit deeper into it and you will find some useful links to both videos as well as possible coaching you could book, not by me though, but from a different page in the description of the video. But back to our code here. We have our title or our change title method and in there, I now want to simply execute the same code I ran before. So I want to target title, though that will not work because title here would look for a title variable in this method. Instead, I have to say this title. And now this would look strange too, I'd imagine, because we would imagine that this refers to the methods object. 
Well, turns out behind the scenes, Vue.js does some magic there. And whenever you reference something with this inside of a view instance, as we do here, it will automatically refer to the view instance as a whole and all the data properties, all your methods and so on are automatically proxied by Vue.js on this instance top level. So this now refers to our whole instance object here and it turns out that Vue.js kind of gives us access to all our data properties and all our methods on this overall top level object. Some magic done behind the scenes. So here I can then also say change title so that we see a difference. And if we now hit control enter again and click on change title, we see change title here now executed through a method to which we point here in our click listener.